Coach, uh, your team really gutted out a, a tough game in Colorado. You mm -hmm. know, what, what are your thoughts a couple days later? I'm just really proud of the guys. You know, I've had the great honor of uh, being the head coach here now for six games, and this is really the first time we've trailed at half. You know, um, so to be in a new situation, uh, to really not panic uh, as a as a total team. Uh, I thought it was exceptional to come out and you know run the ball in the second half. Big long a stop by our defense, a big long drive by our offense, get a quick turnover and then score again. Um, I just like again the composure and the mental toughness that this team has right now. I think that's why we've won four straight. Yeah, stay with that. You know, you've talked a lot about their resilience, but how about maybe their confidence? Because we didn't mm -hmm. see a whole lot of comeback wins, you know, in mm -hmm. similar situations last year, but but they've come thick and fast lately. Yeah, you, you know, that uh, somebody told me that that's the first time since I think 2005 a double-digit halftime uh, deficit. Don't want to be in that situation. It was really the first time for us um, to be in that uh, since taking over. So. It is a, uh, a tribute to those kids. Um, I think there's some great senior leadership going on right now uh, and some older kids really stepping up for us. Extremely proud of the team. Like you said, you don't want to be in those early holes. Uh, you know, what do you what do you say to the team and, and work on this week to mm -hmm. try and get a faster start? Well, we got we had some mistakes early, especially offensively. I thought we had some missed assignments that we can easily correct. Um, played very clean football in the second half that resulted in you know twenty one second half points. Um, you know, just just have to play a lot more assignment sound football uh, right from the beginning. Yeah, Colorado. Really, the whole night, as you said, you end up with 21 second half points. What were they doing to make it tough on you? Because you, you, mm -hmm. you never really got the explosive plays going. You had to grind out a lot of those drives. Yeah, you know, they did a nice job, credit to Colorado. I think as we've viewed this past week, it's hard to win in the Pac-12. Um, you know, to go on the road and get a good, a good Pac-12 win, we're, we're going to celebrate all victories. Um, uh, you know, and they did a nice job loading the box early. You know, really probably only had about five snaps of too high coverage in that entire game. And it was one of those grinded out games. And for Justin Davis to average 6.1 a carry speaks volumes on his behalf of what type of back he was that night. There were some unsung heroes offensively, too. Jaleel Pinner gets to catch a mm -hmm. touchdown mm -hmm. pass. Tyler McNamara catches one. I mean, is it just a all hands on deck kind of performance? Yeah, definitely. We, we've we always said you never know when your opportunity is going to come and to get Jaleel in the end zone with his first college touchdown was awesome. You know, Taylor steps up with a big play. I thought Tyler Petit, his screen that he caught and getting this a huge first down on a drive that we severely needed. Um, you, you know, I, it was neat to see some kids step up in, in those type of moments. And what else can you add about the defensive playmaking? Six more sacks, mm -hmm. ten more tackles for loss. Yeah, we're very proud of where our defensive front, how our defense is front playing. You know, you had a team that was averaging over 180 yards a game, uh, rushing the ball offensively, had to hold them to 59 yards, get six sacks in that game, 10 tackles for loss. That's 19 sacks in the last five games. Um, really doing a nice job up front. You got a chance to watch some college football Saturday, and the results went your way uh, back on top of the Pac-12 South, at least by the tiebreakers. Mm -hmm. uh, do you address that with the team, that they control their own destiny now and, and handling success? You know, how, how do you... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've always been honest with these guys, and, and, you know, nothing changes for us. We've been in playoff football for the last four weeks. We knew where we stood, and, you know, to go win four Pac-12 games in a row was severely important. We've put ourselves in a position where November is uh, is one that can be remembered. Uh, we're 2-0 and in November. We've got a, a really tough game coming up at Oregon um, to try to continue this. You do have a tough game, uh, one of the nation's top rushing offenses. Mm -hmm. Will the Ducks do so well in that phase of the game? Uh, just the skill players e everywhere, but I think what really makes them go, I'm very impressed with the quarterback. I think Vernon is doing an exceptional job of managing that offense um, and, and really doing a very nice job of pushing the ball downfield. I think he does a great job of you know, creating in, in the pocket, not looking to run, but keeping his eyes downfield for explosive, explosive passes. Tremendous quarterback, without question, one of the better offenses we'll face all year. Is that is Vernon Adams what's helped them find their feet here in the last month? You're similar to you guys started slow, but really played well lately. Yeah, it, when you look at the mark of a of a great team, you, you look at the quarterback position and it starts there. And and they've definitely got one. We've got one that's playing. You know, Cody's playing exceptional down the stretch here. You know, you got two good quarterbacks that I, I think are leading their teams and putting themselves in positions to go win go win Pac-12 championships. So uh, it ought to be fun. And Oregon's defense, uh, one of the better pass rushes in the conference. 
Yeah, definitely. They've always been, you know, they've always been exceptional coming off the edge with those big lengthy linebackers in that 3-4 scheme. Uh, They've done it for a number number of years, and and it continues. Um, You know, we'll have to do a great job up front with our offensive line. You may catch a break with no rain this week, but I'm sure that Austin Stadium will be very loud. Uh, do you do anything to prepare for, for an environment like that? Uh, definitely. You know, we'll we'll have our sound speaker out there and bring and bring noise and, and things like that. But that's that's what's so cool about the Pac-12. You know, every venue you go to is is exceptional, whether it's a Coliseum or Austin. You know, it's going to be loud uh, anywhere you go on the road here. And this is just another great venue. We look forward to the opportunity. All right. Good luck this week, Coach. Thank you.